Alrighty, g'day team. Now I thought I'd sit down and give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes debrief in terms of what I've just shot. So the BFT Newmarket video, my mate Brocky is the studio manager there and he hit me up to shoot a video for the team. Just to give you a bit of background, so BFT stands for body fat training, similar to E45, but just that next level up. Coaches are a lot more hands-on, and it's a really good strength of the BFT Newmarket team. Yeah, really cool to get amongst that. I've been training at BFT myself. I understand the processes and how it works, so that was a huge advantage when it came to shooting this video. Yeah, really cool stuff. I thought I would give you a little bit of a breakdown of what actually went into the video and what actually went into the edit. The first thing that we did, me and Brocky, we just sat down and had a coffee and, and what do we want to achieve? Um, what is the overarching question that we're wanting to answer with this video? And we kind of came up with BFT is different, which is in the slogan, different is better. But when it comes to new market, we feel that there's a real sense of community. So we really wanted to showcase that. Um, we want it to be different in terms of every other gym video out there. So. We really wanted to focus on the motion and the movements that BFT offers. Um, and then we also wanted to try to do something different with obviously the lighting, which I'll show a little bit further down the track. So in these sorts of shooting environments, there's a lot of things coming at you, left, right and center. The idea was to capture as much diversity as possible from people who are just starting out in terms of fitness to the ones that were top of the game. Uh, that was a big thing that Brocky said to me, we want to be able to showcase that BFT is for everyone. Now on top of that, I also wanted to showcase a variety of movements, so lower body, upper body, um, and that is part of the reason why we chose to shoot at the club on the Saturday because the program that was offered on that day covered a lot of a lot of movements. Changing lenses during the Saturday shoot, just did it on the fly really. I was shooting a lot of wide angle stuff and kind of capturing, say for example, the chest press movement. So I would capture that on a wide angle lens, wait for the person to move on, and come back to the next set, and then I would switch out for a bit of a tighter. So covering the wide and the tight, and I was making sure I did that with both sets with the same person, so getting that continuity. The other thing that I enjoyed doing, and, and I try to do this with a lot of the video work, is to find that creative perspective. And I think a lot of it has come from the film compositions, having that very limited number of shots on your roll of film. You really have to nail your composition. That's again where I was applying what I know from that side of things and putting it into the video stuff. Really just nailing the composition because if you can nail it in the shot, there's nothing better than a strong composition because that's gonna tell a far greater story than any sort of editing or After Effects or anything like that can do. Now, one thing that I really like to do when doing any sort of video work is to focus on the movement and just ensuring that there's some sort of flow between your shots. Now, when it comes to the gym stuff, you obviously have the decentric and you have the eccentric movements. Being able to work with those, and once you start to nail that flow, it actually works really well. It makes it very engaging for the viewer. So for example, we were doing a kettlebell row. The kettlebell is coming through and then it's dropping back down as well. So moving the camera up and down with the subject and just trying to match that movement. It makes you feel a lot more connected to the shot that you're looking at. Yeah, really pushing that then obviously using a bunch of the wides and the other sort of shots to structure and use them as foundations for the, for the film. Now the second scene that me and Brocky shot was the really dim low light stuff at the actual gym. What we're doing is we're actually just running through every single exercise that we can physically think of just to get a little bit of diversity with the movement. So set up the camera on a tripod down the end. So everything is going to be the exact same composition and we're parking up pretty much right in the middle here. So it's gonna be pretty cool. The idea is to flick through like heaps and heaps of frames of different uh, different movements and then probably drop into the daytime footage that I shot earlier today here. Yeah, no, it's pretty fun. Obviously having some good lighting is incredible. Like so stoked I got them. Um, they've been working a treat. So they're just the aperture 60D lights. Yeah, we're pretty blessed obviously with BFT. They've got black walls and black flooring so everything looks really nice and clean which is good yeah super excited i think we've got another 20 or 30 exercises to go through <laughs> hopefully brocky isn't too tired but yeah we'll crack in enjoy the bts 
it was interesting because we obviously started with the lights facing directional at the subject and you could see the progression of how the shot actually turned out. Like I said, lights front on and then we thought, you know what, let's put them behind. The lighting looked a lot better in terms of that silhouette. Nice on his skin, you could see a lot more muscle definition. We decided to move front on. This was actually really good because we had the BFT logo in the center, the two lights sort of balancing each side. But then we also had the pull-up bars and the, and the stuff on the right-hand side, which kind of framed it really, really nicely. But this was, this was really cool. Like we really enjoyed shooting this sort of stuff. We went on for a couple of hours. So yeah, just rolling through as many exercises as possible. In terms of the editing of the video now, we have an idea of what we want to achieve. We've got the structured pieces that are gonna fall into place. I guess it just comes from there. You look for shots that are really engaging. So I'm also looking for shots that have a strong composition. So nothing in the background that's gonna throw off from the main scene. Just making sure that everything that is in the video is gonna flow seamlessly, as I mentioned before. The final shot kind of came on the whim. I thought, let's utilize this BFT logo on the wall again and got all the trainers in the front and just did the whole rugby photo pose. Yeah, that was the BFT Newmarket video. Really, really fun to shoot. Obviously love shooting any sort of gym video work. It's very on the fly, you're thinking so quickly and got to make those decisions really, really fast. Something that I want to do a little bit more of in terms of providing that extra value and insight to video shoots because it's something that you don't really see. Getting to the point now where almost the behind the scenes is more valuable than the final edit, but I think they actually go hand in hand. If you do want your ass handed to you in terms of physical training, then give BFT a crack. I'm not sponsored or anything by BFT, it's just been the sort of thing that I've picked up and started doing a little bit more of recently and found it really good for the physical, obviously, but also for the mental as well. So definitely give it a crack, but yeah, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.